Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Jocelyn Conley. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist, founder of The Vagina Docs. And in this video, I am going to show you how to do your own abdominal myofascial release using your hands. Doing your own myofascial release between sessions is a super important part of continuing to take steps forward even when you are not directly seeing me in the clinic. I often prescribe self MFR techniques, particularly in the abdominal wall in women that are experiencing pelvic pain, issues with urinary incontinence or urinary urgency or frequency or anything like GI dysfunction, constipation or general just, you just want to be able to breathe into your belly a little bit easier or connect with your core more easily, but you can't because there's so many fascial restrictions. It's also really great if you've had abdominal surgeries, whether those were laparoscopic or open surgeries like a C-section or a hysterectomy. What you'll need for this activity is just your hands and somewhere where you will not be disturbed so that you can remain present. Lie down on your back face up and move your clothing so that your belly, your lower abdomen and your upper abdomen up to the lower part of your rib cage is exposed so you could treat over your skin. Place one hand at the, just below your belly button and just place it on top of your skin. Your other hand is going to be above your belly button and first, just connect with your skin. You're not placing any force, you're not putting any downward pressure. You're just connecting with your skin and seeing how you internally respond, like what you feel when you are connecting. As you do this, try to clear your mind. Don't think about anything, don't think about grocery list, don't think about what your kids are doing, don't think about what you said at work. You are just, you're being curious about what you're feeling as your hands connect with your belly. As you do this, also try to release any tension in your shoulders, your jaw, anywhere else. And after about a minute, minute and a half, you're going to gently sink down until you feel your tissue push back at you. It's very gentle and it's not a force. This is, you're sinking into what's called the depth barrier. So I'm in my depth barrier right now. And again, I'm just waiting. I'm seeing how my body responds. I'm checking into my shoulders. If I start to contract or tense my shoulders, I'm letting that go. And then maintaining the depth barrier, I'm going to pull, gently pull my top hand upwards and my bottom hand downwards until I feel resistance. And that's about here. And I'm gonna wait here. I'm not gonna move. And I'm gonna hold here for a minimum of three to five minutes because that's the time it takes for your tissue to give. And as I lie here, I'm just focusing on being present to what I am feeling within my body. I'm not thinking about anything, I'm not asking why. As my tissue gives, I'm gonna follow it. It might be tricky to feel this at first, so I tell my patients, Try not to try too hard. And it's okay if you don't feel anything. Just don't think about anything. Don't ask why, if, don't ask if you're doing it correctly or not. Just do what I'm telling you to do. And trust yourself. So as I lie here, my tissue, I'm, I'm feeling gurgling, my tissue starting to heat underneath my hands. helpful to just focus on your breathing and that's what I'd be typically doing here and as my tissue gives again I'm gonna follow it 
until I reach the next barrier. And I just stay there and wait. So I probably would stay here on my belly because I need this probably 10 minutes. I get that it's hard to make that kind of time depending on what's going on, your li on in your life. So three to five minutes is a good place to start. So I'm gonna show you another location that I have my patients treat. One hand is going to be here. So if this is my ribs, one hand's gonna be at the base of that rib, not on the rib, just inside. And then the other hand's gonna be below. I'm gonna sink, again, just connect. I'm gonna take, let's say 30 seconds to 90 seconds just connecting. Then I sink into the depth barrier. And that's the, look, the spot where the tissue starts pushing back at me. And I could stay here. A lot of my patients, I just wait at the death barrier because the, they start responding right there before I do anything. And then I will start to s essentially pull the tissue in opposite directions until I feel get into the resistance and I wait. And I will wait here three to five minutes or more, probably in my wind down in the evening when I'm treating myself. I'll probably do this for 10 minutes on one side one night and I'll switch sides the next day. To give you, no, to give you a sense of how much pressure I'm putting in, I shouldn't see, like, I sh my fingers shouldn't be blanching. My fingers shouldn't be tense. The softer my hands are, the better. Now, as a beginner, I'm like pressing, was pressing so hard, like I can't feel anything. So just be patient with yourself there and know that you'll get better. So I would do that on the other side as well, either the same day or a different day. Another location that is typically full of restrictions is horizontally across the low abdomen below the belly button. This is an area that a lot of my patients have scars from C-sections, from hysterectomies. This area tends to be just congested from all of the stuff down here. So again, I'm gonna sink my hand in and I could do one hand, I could do two hand. I'm gonna just do two hands here. This is an easy hand, hand hold for me treating myself sometimes or when I'm treating my patients, I'll do a cross hand. And so I'm gonna sink down, connect first. Well, connect first before I sink. And then after I connect, I'll sink into the depth barrier and follow the same process. Now here, I could pull horizontally, I could pull diagonally, either way, up and down. Our fascial system's three-dimensional, so we gotta check all the different areas. I'm trying to keep it simple for you guys so that it doesn't get too technical, but really, any direction you can try. Don't overthink it. No matter which technique you do, minimum steps that you have to take is shut your mind off. Two is to connect. Give yourself that chance to just sit, settle in. What do you feel? Don't just be present. Don't be up here. Like things that you know you're up here. You start judging yourself. Oh, I don't like my, my belly. You're in your head. After that, uh, after you're connecting, you're sinking into the depth barrier. Every barrier, everyone's depth barrier is a little bit different. Once you're, you, when you're doing this, it's not a force. Your fingers should not be blanching. Your, t your fingers should not be tense. If your fingers are tense and your shoulders are tense, you're working too hard. And that takes some time to develop. After that, then you are going to separate the tissue opposite directions stopping at resistance and just waiting three to five minutes and then just being present to what you're feeling and not thinking are you doing it right because it's super simple a lot of including myself people <laughs> try to complicate it and it's just not the complicated perception comes from up here and that's what i'm trying to help you overcome so thank you so much for watching. Just a summary, this was a self myofascial release technique for the abdominal wall that helps a lot of pelvic 
health issues, including direct issues with the pelvic floor, issues with the deep core, pelvic pain conditions, including things with the bladder, the GI system, the, the, the uterus, the ovaries, um, and really helps with abdominal, just getting the crap, the, the restrictions on the abdominal also, your abdomen can function properly and your gut can function properly. If you have any questions, please post them below. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you know anyone that can benefit from watching, please share. And don't forget to subscribe so you're notified every time a new video is dropped. I'll see you guys next time.